Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.4. In this problem, it is stated that solve problem 4.3 assuming the white flange beam is bent about y axis by a couple moment of my. So, if you have uh, gone through problem 4.3, it was given that allowable bending the allowable uh, stress was 150 megapascal so we will write first the given data in given data we, we we can see that this sigma allowable was 155 megapascal which is equal to 155 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal clear yeah. Now we have to, we have this white flange beam and we have to find my, movement about y axis. Yeah. So this problem is a little bit tri tricky but if you, if you have a strong concept or background, so it's also an easy. Now in previous, previous problem if I draw this white flange beam in three dimension, just like three dimension. Sorry, I draw it properly. So, this is the beam. So, it's given that its x axis and its y axis. Let me choose another color. And this is z axis, z axis. So now you you have to take the moment about y axis. So this is m y. This will be m y. So if you take the moment about this axis, so your neutral axis will be this one. So if you draw again, if I draw this figure. So your neutral axis will be this one that will passes to the half of the width of the flange. So this will be your neutral axis or centroidal axis. Now the distance of the y, uh, C value will be from this neutral axis to the topmost plane and this distance is actually C is C will be equal to 100. Clear? So, rest the problem is same. So, you have to, if this is the 1, this is mem uh, 2 and this is 3. So, we have to calculate the moment about y. So, moment about y will be same formula sigma into i divided by c. So, we have to first find i and this i will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3. And in this problem, I1 and I3 will be the same. So let's start with this I1. So I1 will be basically equal to, now this is the first member. And you can see this is the first member. And you can see it's 200 millimeter wide and its, its thickness is 12 mm. So now 12, as this is the neutral axis, so its height will be this 100. Clear? It's uh, sorry. Its height will be this total height, 200. This will be its total height, 200, and breadth is 1 over 12. And as the center is passing, centroidal axis is passing through its center, so there is no. Uh, let me write also 1 over 12 dh cube plus ad square. So, as this center is centroidal axis is passing through its center, so there is no, the d value will be 0. So, this terminology will be equal to 0. So, we will just have i1 will be equal to 1 over 12 dh cube. So, this will be equal to 1 over 12. Now, you can see that the value of b is 12. So, 1 over 12 into 1 over 12 into height is 
200 cube clear so the value of i1 will be i1 comes out to be i1 is equal to 8 into 10 raised to power 6 mm power 4 and this will be equal to i3 because i3 and i2 are same so we have calculated the value of i1 and i2 now we will go to i2 so i2 will be equal to 1 over 12 bh cube now what is b what what is 2 so its width is this which is the thickness of uh, this web and that is 8 mm you can see this is the 8 so 8 and total height which we calculated earlier was 196 so that will be equal to the, actually 196 is the distance from this point to this point which we calculated in previous previous problem and that is 196 clear so i2 when we calculate this value so i2 is equal to uh, 8.36 into 10 raised to power 3 millimeter 4 so now we have i1 i2 and i3 value so sum them to get the total moment of inertia i will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so that will be again i will write i1 and i3 are same so that will be 2 into 8 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 plus i2 is 8.36 into 10 raised to power 3 so when you add them so this will be the moment of inertia that is uh, 16.008 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4 now this is actually i you can say this is the moment of inertia about y axis because you are going to take the moment about y so the inertia we calculated is i double y second moment of inertia about y axis now you have to put the value for finding the moment about y that is sigma into i divided by c now you have sigma which is 155 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal you have the value of i which is 16.008 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and you have the value of c now you can see that here i have shown you earlier that now the c is distance from this neutral axis to the top most which is actually 100 clear so put the value over here the value of c is 100 so that in meter it will be equal to 0 0.100 so if you calculate it so you will get the moment of about y which is 24.8 kilo newton into meter so this is the moment that can be applied along uh, about y axis to the beam having allowable stress 24 uh, 155 megapascal so this movement you can give the movement here as m is equal to 24.8 kilo newton into meter so this was all about problem 4.4 solution thank you for watching my video